Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Warhammer Wednesday. Um, and it's definitely not only fans Friday. But, <laughs> um, right. So <laughs> Warhammer Wednesday. Uh, I am your games master, Jim. Uh, welcome to he's a Friday. <laughs> it's going to go horribly wrong tonight. Yeah. Um, and we'll go first. Well, first, actually, we'll give he, he's going to beat root red. So we'll go to Roger first. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Roger, and I'm playing Johan von Erfinder. The human master engineer, and I have not spent any XP because we were too busy laughing about inappropriate things. <laughs> okay, uh, Dan M. Hey, up. I'm in more deck, Pitfire, and Dowie. Uh, this week, I have mostly been expending my XP on toughness after the embarrassment that was my drinking alcohol roll last week. Okay, uh, uh, on to uh, Aaron. Hi everybody, I'm Aaron and I'm playing Hagen Witter von Delbers, the Sergeant Templar to the Order of the White Wolf. And I spent my combined XP from the last two sessions on picking up the talent Furious Assault because Hagen never really hit hard enough before. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, our beat rooted buddy. Um, of the 18 plus social media scene, it's Dan P. Good evening, all. <laughs> I'm Dan, and I am playing Ilmarin the Elf, uh, Elf Magister, um, slash envoy, slash uh, band for the halflings. Um, you know, anything he can turn his hand to, really. Excellent. So uh, obviously, Dan, uh, Dan wasn't here last week as Ilmarin was very ill in the cart and they managed to get him into the inn, which was called Pop Quiz. Uh, Everyone the, looks at Aaron. Big Oaf Tavern. Big Oaf the Green Tavern. Indeed, yes. Um, and he, he got took up to a room where he slept it off. Um, I believe the last thing that happened was... Um, Mordek went out for a bit of a drink and a bit a bit of a walk around the carnival. Um, he didn't return for a while, so you're about to set off. As Ilmarin w walks down the stairs, he's, he's woke himself up and uh, a little bit hazy, but he's uh, back in the world of the living. <coughs> Welcome back, my friend. This is not where I went to sleep. Now we've made our way to Green Mill. Ilmarin checks himself to make sure he's wearing the same outfit he went to bed in. Yeah, to be fair, you do smell a little bit of stale sweat. And it's possibly not yours. In fact, you've never smelled that bad. <laughs> um, did Mordek try to snuggle me? Uh, well, you've had a, a few people possibly carry you. <laughs> well, that's normally every episode, isn't it? No, uh, no, no, I didn't mean that. I mean, he might have done if that's what you two normally get up to in your room. Oof. Oh, God. No, awfully not. No. Well, um, so where are we? What are we doing? Uh, what's happened? Um, where is Mordek? That's... Uh, that's what we're going to find out. He should have oh. been back by now. Might I suggest we find a place with the largest uh, supply of alcohol? Most that, that ale, our, of course. That was our first stop. Yeah, well, he's anything but... If, if anything, he is predictable. The halflings were challenging him over the Mootland murder uh, ale, so perhaps uh, that's and, the best place to start. And if he's not there, we'll try the sheriff's office. These are both very good guesses as to where he might be. Shall we venture out, then? I would Indeed. have liked to have a clean, but... Uh, I'll just have to go as I am. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so um, you head out and there's quite a um, buzzing carnival about. There's lots of people about, lots of uh, laughing and happiness and good atmosphere and everything. Um, lifts your spirits from um, Blueberry where um, the place was uh, uh, raised to the ground. Um 
Yeah, and you have another look around. There is a huge, huge marquee tent uh, in the middle of the carnival um, that has got on the side of it um, Mootland Murder Ale. Who could remember the slogan? I didn't really pay it any heed because I wasn't drinking it. It will kill you first. It absolutely will. <laughs> It's going to say downed all over Britonia. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So you, you see the the um, the beer tent uh, there, and there's lots of other things as well. There's uh, uh, there's people selling things like dogs and goldfish, and um, there's pie shops. There's um, um, pie eating contest sort of bunko booth style things um there's um signs up for a big bear show um uh, uh, another one that's been set up but there's no one there yet called don't burn your neighbor um fergus's brawl with a ball um dr cox and his miracle medicines um yeah, lots of different things. Right. Sinister well, Burt's Kiddies Treats. Um, yeah, lots of things. Well, eyes peeled for chaos, gentlemen. Uh, havoc, should I say. I, that's more like it. If, well, we duck in this. Well, Hagen ducks in to see if yeah, uh, into the Mordek is in the beer tent. Imaran's looking for a slightly taller, short person. Yeah, has a beard. So you duck into the beer tent, Hagen, and uh, you, what you can see is um, Mordek is uh, he's been propped up in his chair, and there's a couple of halflings uh, sat either side of him with their arms around him, and uh, another halfling is busy drawing a picture of them all. Um, um, but yeah, he looks completely out of it. So I take it uh, my dwarf friend here sampled some of your murder ale? I, I, I did, and he only managed one tankard full. Oh my, I can't wait. <laughs> are, you, are you serious? <clears throat> Absolutely. Just, oh, Mordek. You're lucky you like there aren't some? any other dwarves here. <laughs> would you like to try some? We did get a bit in, thinking that Mordek would, uh, would go at it, but... Uh, uh, would, would you like? I, like I almost want to drink two to make him feel really bad. <laughs> hey, okay, within seconds, a tankard is thrust in in front of your nose. Ilmarin's going to attempt to drink it because it's oh, it'll probably be the one and only time that Ilmarin will be able out potentially out to drink more deck. It's going to go horribly wrong, viewers. So let's find make out. Me, make me a challenging, a challenging consume, consume alcohol roll. <laughs> Imran can't finish the first tankard. <laughs> it's horrible. It's not wine. <laughs> and after you have got being asleep for so long, thump. <laughs> oh, God, go on now. I've got a re roll, have I? Oh, yeah. I'm absolutely going to use it right now. I apparently got the exact same result. Oh, Ilmarin didn't like worse. it. Yeah, so uh, Ilmarin starts slurring his words after a couple of uh, drinks. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. This and, is a yeah. fine ale. He's, he's oh, like kind of whispered to Hagen. To be yeah. fair, at least he's still standing. I, I think uh, if the, however, not that I'll tell either one of these two if they ever become conscious again. But if a Dowie and an elf can't handle it, there is no way I am touching him. <laughs> no, I'd rather remain copus mentis. Thank you. Um, That's an awful hey, big hey, word hey, for you, human. Hey, Omarin, go go stand next to the dwarf. I want to get a picture of this. I'll get out my notepad. Stand next to the Dowie. Well, Are we going to remind him that he's don't on you the want floor evidence and I'm... That you, yeah. Don't you want evidence you can outdrink a dwarf? Yeah, and Ilmarin's going to stand next to him and rest a tankard on, uh, on his head. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> going to use my Ilmarin's artistic talent to draw things, this perfectly. So again, Ilmarin's doing a lot of things, but the one thing he isn't doing is standing next to him. <laughs> he might be slumped over a chair next to him. Wait, can I use like one of my fate or fortune points to pull this off? Eight point, Jesus. I, I, want, I want this moment. 
I don't hey, know which one. I wasted one of my <clears throat> a re-roll and a and a thing you point to try and pass, and I still failed. <laughs> uh, can I, is there something I can burn? Oh, wait, can't I burn something to get that one minus success? You can, pass? Yeah, you can burn a fortune point to get plus one SL to a test after the fact. Then I'm going to do that so I can pass I it. Mean, you'll, no, you'll still fail by no success levels. Oh, uh, would it not be zero? Yeah, but you need to get under. I, I wish to do something so that I can lord it up over the Dowie when he wakes up. I mean, you're still I mean, conscious, so you can still lord it over him. You're just. I want to be able to stand in, in this picture. Hey, slip me a gold crown. I'll make you standing in the picture. <laughs> slip you. A... I want to win. To a point with <laughs> Jim, I wish yeah. to burn one of my very important fate dice. Wow. To, 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 no, no. A fate point is a permanent burn. I know it's a permanent burn. I absolutely <laughs> know it's a permanent burn until whenever no, the you, thing... Do you have any resilience points? No, I have no resilience oh, okay. points. I have two fate points and that is it. Jim, I wish to burn one of my very important... <laughs> Eight points. Oh my god! Be considered so as passing <laughs> the test, so that I have drunk the ale and I have beaten Mordek in the drinking competition. Um. So for a fake point, this this really isn't hitting you at all, really. Um, yeah, you, several more. You have you have one, and then the, there's another. Uh, you can start to feel the buzz. Um, yeah, it's like it, tingling sensation in my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> you, you do get the feeling that it. It's um, based on some, uh, some sort of honey concoction, maybe. Uh, very similar to Elven Mead, and that's probably why it's not affecting you uh, as much. Excellent. Then um, I would ask my good friend to draw away. <laughs> he rests the tankard on Mordek's head. In fact, he rests two tankards on Mordek's head. <laughs> okay. He's going to draw this and just thinking to himself, Mordek's going to be pissed. <laughs> Completely let, worth the fake point. Let me just remind you what happened to the last part. More, more deck is this close to considering the Slayer's Oath because he's dishonored <laughs> himself to such an extent. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, um, th there is um, a uh, a halfling artist there who calls himself Danksy. Uh, and he, he sets about drawing uh, a picture. And, oh, I'm drawing uh, it. Yeah. The, the the picture does seem to have big heads and big sort of features, <laughs> yeah, like big ears and a big nose. Uh, and he explains that it's called a character core, um, a, a style of drawing uh, mainly known to the Arflings. I will obviously look to Johan to have a proper beautiful portrait done. I'm I'm going to hang this in my home <laughs> one day. So I want this most wonderful piece of artistic work from Johan <laughs> so that I can forevermore be known as the elf that drank more than a dwarf. I've got a feeling it's going to be used as toilet paper before. <laughs> it might get whacked Oh no, my this head. is for Johan's personal one. <laughs> no. Still oh. have the preliminary... He tries to cut your head off with a paper cut. <laughs> Um, it'll be it'll be the commemorating that moment when Mordek becomes a slayer. I mean, it's important. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we can't we can't take a photo to remember it. So Johan's drawing a picture. Indeed. Okay. So yeah, you get a couple of pictures. You you managed to draw one. Um, um, uh, Danksy draws one for you, and uh, the rest of the night. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you want to go and have a look at anything else, you can do. Um, otherwise, um, you can retire to bed. Hagen would probably retire, knowing that uh, tomorrow we've got to pick up this list of ingredients and uh, and start this uh, treasure hunt so that we can break those wards down. Oh, you go, Hagen. Give me a hand with the dwarf. We better get him back to the tavern. Aye. Imaran has a skip in his step as he <laughs> saunters down the road just ahead of you, playing on his lute and singing songs of glory and one drinking dwarves. Out drinking dwarves, and it's gonna be a it's gonna be a play piece. It's one day there's gonna be this one hit wonder. <laughs> how to out drink a dwarf. Just when you were getting somewhere with friendship. Um <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, so you get back to 
uh, your tavern, you're in uh, the the big oaf tavern and inn, and uh, you um, you get yourselves into bed and uh, go to say, are you leaving any sort of guard up tonight? Yeah, Moran will probably stay awake. He's probably been asleep for the better part of several yeah. days now, hasn't he? So <clears throat> um, elves don't generally need to sleep that much anyway. Um, so he's probably going to stay up probably cleaned himself up properly now because he doesn't like the stink anymore um, and when he when Mordek does finally want to wake up he wants to lord it over him without smelling um, so he's going to clean himself up and yeah Ilmar will be on guard with his keen elven eyes okay Hagen would probably get up a couple of hours before dawn to, to prep and train and, and work out a little bit so hey, yeah, Johan will probably stay up a bit later as well um, he wants to have a bath first Excellent. Um, Go into the bathroom, uh, Johan, and there's the scene as if the Witcher, but with Ilmarin. <laughs> Legs over the bath. <laughs> okay. Ilmarin seems to be in a very good mood. <laughs> Don't worry. It's all right. You... We'll, get some, we'll get some wine in, Ilmarin. Let's... <laughs> as, as sun comes up, Mordek, you awake, uh, awaken, and you are very, very alert considering um, you comatose <laughs> last night. Uh, it's, it's almost not dehydrated you at all, this uh, this uh, ale. Um, and, uh, hmm. yeah. Something to be said for the slogan, kill you first then. Where am yeah. I? Uh, you're in your room. Uh, that you share with uh, Ilmarin. Uh, Ilmarin is sat on the edge of his bed. Uh, he, he's probably meditating or something. Um, no, he's not. He's got the biggest grin on his face. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Good morning, my stout dowie friend. How are you feeling this morning? <clears throat> so I'll be feeling not too bad, thank you. That's good. Why have you be gotten a smile on your face? How many of those tankards did you finish last night, my friend? Oh, at least five. Oh, see, it's funny, because that's not what the halflings said. Really? Yeah. I believe oh. it was one that you finished. One? One, yeah. Do you know how many I finished? Two. Actually, I finished a few more, but... With you'd all be the lying. Nah, you'd be lying. <coughs> no point here. Uh, can uh, Johan, like oh, oh Johan, Johan, my good friend. Just, uh, just wait. <laughs> uh, what? Have you got that picture? Uh, bacon first. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll do bacon first. Resurrectional powers of bacon. <laughs> We're doing bacon first. Uh, but uh, Mordek, I outdrank you. I'll see you downstairs. <laughs> and he kind of skips out in his usual elven fashion. Mordor mm. doesn't move out of horror. <laughs> the the redness draws away from his face as he just looks pale. Dee, 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 dee. And you hear some loop playing downstairs and some words that come out and there's some Dowie words and some elven words and then you hear and then the elf outdrank the dwarf. <laughs> What a horrible sign that was. Never going to live this down. <laughs> just just be safe in the knowledge that when he carks it, yeah, and he could have had that. Yeah, because he hasn't got fate yeah. points as well. He did burn one of his two fate points. <laughs> I <laughs> regret that. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, Johan will be wearing his new threads down now. Okay. So yeah, you, you all go downstairs. Everybody is noticing that Johan does look immensely fine. Yeah, um, he almost looks like a new man. Um, Ilmarin, even you were impressed by uh, these human um, um, threads that he's wearing. Um, in fact, you kind of feel jealous in a way. Okay, the um, the, the stitching is as good as uh, well. It's on a par to uh, Elven stitching. And yeah, he just he just it just looks a focus of fashion. 
I won't let my jealousy show, of course. I will simply compliment <laughs> Johan on his fine, fine wares that he almost, almost looks good as an elf. Almost. So you, Johan now realises Ilmarin is jealous because he never compliments him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. You Just know, kind of right. smile. Uh, <laughs> like, <sighs> bacon first. Mm. Mm. Ilmarin's snacking on some berries. Uh, you know, eating the sandwich. Oh, I did. I did finish the picture. I'll open up his notebook. How artistically beautiful is it? Like a photograph. Uh, well, a black and white photograph. I, I will need a replica of that, my friend. Um, and it's got the title War of Beer at the top. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. Um, Ilmarin does throw you a gold coin. Makes it across the table with perfect accuracy and goes, I'm definitely going to need a copy of that. <laughs> Consider it done. <laughs> <laughs> I have just lowered my gold coins by one. Five point on a gold coin. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's been completely worth it. Okay. So, as you sit there having uh, quite a nice breakfast, actually, uh, of um, dried breads and fruit and um, hams and cheeses and, yeah, the, the meats of all sorts. Uh, really, really nice. Um, or Deck pokes at his food with a with a fork and seems oddly out of his appetite. <laughs> yeah. Um, Imara now asks Johan to show him the picture. Mordek, it is a picture of what went down. Out of arm's reach and then hold up the notebook. So as you're as you're sitting there poking at your meat, um, um, Mordek, <laughs> um, do you want to free that a little bit? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, um, as you're stabbing it with your fork, um, all of a sudden you seem to be stabbing a pair of eyes that are floating from the meat, and all the meat is sort of sewn together, all oh, different kinds of meat, and then. He sort of snapped back into it, and yeah, it's just a big chunk of ham. Um, Mordek will wave that one off as a consequence of the alcohol last night. And when he, he looks up at the picture, and you can almost see the storm clouds growing over his head. Um, <clears throat> and and Mordek, look at the title of the picture. Look at the title. It says "War of the Beer." Mordek just stares daggers, <laughs> but uncharacteristically says nothing. He's just so fuming. You've, <laughs> not, you've not seen you've not seen Mordek this angry for a long time. Hagen yeah. claps him on the shoulder and says, "Listen, Johans." work of art i mean it's a perfect representation but the halfling artists i think he called it a character of you really captured the spirit of the moment i think they're gonna i think he's gonna do copies of those and put them up throughout the festival yeah here it is <laughs> as you look you got a really big head with a giant beard and there's me with a really big head but with even bigger ears um we'll, we'll chalk that up to them not knowing the proportions um <laughs> And but oh, as I you believe can see, that's the style of their art, Ilmarin. Ah, okay, okay. Um, and <laughs> but as you can see, there's me with my two tankards resting on your head, um, and there's you unconscious with one tankard. <laughs> I'm trying to pull a straight face. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> on. To be fair, he did only drink one of them, but he did remain standing perfectly. Uh, um, I drank a second one. I drank a second one. I did. Oh, Jim said I drank a second one for a fake point. Um, All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, as, uh, I, yeah, I was going to give him an extra point for a fake point. I, <laughs> I sort of felt guilty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you know, Mordek, it was a pleasure. And Mil Marin just skips off. He looks so happy of himself <laughs> right now. <laughs> so, as you're, as you're sitting there having your breakfast, um, you notice that there's um, um, 
uh, a rather well-made uh, balding man uh, next to you, the, the, the man that you've seen before. Quite a well-sculptured beard. Um, he does smell a bit of pigs, though. Um, um, yeah, it's Mr. Latty. Um, and his pie-eating pigs. And he, he sort of said, ah, how are we doing, gents? All right. Uh, Mr. Latty, that was Pete, right? Pete? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, well, it's a wonderful day, and we're hoping to find time to watch your fabulous pie-eating pigs eat their pies, Pete. Uh, the sight of them is astounding, yeah. The kids love it. I have heard that they are the talk of the town. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Um, uh, um, scolded uh, Nipton earlier to see if you were up. Uh, and uh, he, he said, could you nip over to see him as soon as uh, you were with it after last night? Uh, that's where we're headed now. Thank you very much. All right, I'll just kind of pick up my sandwich and stand up. I'll go fetch the elf. And as you open the door to, to get Elmarin. And as you open the door, you hear, and then he out drunk an elf. Oh no, he didn't. He's a dwarf and he went down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suppressing oh. a smirk. Yeah, I will, we, um, I will yeah make we've got to go see someone. <laughs> you, what was that? <laughs> I will make him roll a call test in a minute. Um, anyway, um, yeah, um, yeah, so uh, Pete sort of gets up and he leaves. Uh, he's got a piglet with him, and uh, you can hear some um, oinking, um, whatever you call it from pigs. Um, oinking, yeah, oinking. Um, <laughs> best fake point ever, apparently. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, uh, Pete leaves and uh, you can hear it is uh, moving his pigs out from the stables. Um. Well, we head over to uh, Elder Fallow Fringe's uh, house then. Right, okay, yeah, you, you head over uh, and the door is closed. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Um, the door is opened by a, a, a young maid um, who looks like she's carrying a feather duster uh, and a bucket. Um, uh, can I help you, gentlemen? Uh, yes, pardon for the interruption, but uh, Elder Fallow French had requested that we come by this morning to see him. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, uh, he, he, he's had a bit of an accident. Um, but he, he will see you. Just don't don't look very shocked at him. Yeah, and she, she comes outside and she shuts it off. Whatever you do, don't look surprised at the way he looks. Yeah. Okay. Um, he, he's 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 uh, on his chair near near the earth. Uh, I've sort of uh, moved the lamp as far away from him as I can. Yeah, to cast shadow on. Um, but yeah. Thank you for the warning. Yeah. Okay, so you go back in, um, and there is a fire going, and th there's a seat there. Um, although um, there doesn't look anybody sat on it, um, and then you, you hear from around about where the chair is. Ah, oh, my friends, uh, come in. Uh, um, um, so you've come for the list uh, of ingredients, yes? Indeed, sir, we have. Pull up a chair and uh, sit with me uh, at the fire. Okay. Mm, nope. <laughs> um, <laughs> last time I sat in a chair, someone screwed screws from my nails, so um, Ilmarin's probably not going to sit in a chair. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be all right standing, thank you. Okay, well, come and join me over near the fire, then. Of stroll over ish. You'll have to excuse me. Uh, the wicked witch of the wild woods turned me into a cabbage. Yeah, and there's this big cabbage just sat on the chair uh, that's in front of the fire. 
Wait, like an actual cabbage? Yes. How good does it look? Oh, it's a big cabbage. It, 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 it definitely feed a family of four. Does it have a mouth? Is that why we can hear it? Uh, no. Your mind pokes it. Oh! Is this some kind of joke? It's the sound coming from the cabbage. Make me perception rolls, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Got a bit of a Wizard of Oz thing going on here. <laughs> I mean, all four success levels. Wait, wait, wait. I have a thing now, don't I? Oh. Can we all just take a little moment to look at Hagen's score there? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty bad. That's an impressive. I can't see. I'm like, and he's a cabbage. He's okay. a cabbage. I don't know what to tell you. So, Ilmarin and Hagen actually look pretty shocked at this talking cabbage. Wait, wait, wait. I have second sight. Can I see any magic? Uh, no. There's no magic. I, I got a standing failure, so. <laughs> well, there's no magic involved here. No. Uh, he pokes the cabbage again. Oh, by God, oh! be it true, it'd be a talking okay. cabbage. Um, Johan, um, the voice is coming from behind the table, which is behind the chair. I will the... look straight over at where it's coming from. Imran picks up the cabbage and Why are you the fire. pretending to be a cabbage? Oh, uh, I wasn't. Uh, you see, a lot of people want to harm me, yeah, especially after the uh, wizards disappeared. So I have to get a few um, um, guard doubles in. Yeah, um, you know, people will, will, will be uh, decoys for me. And uh, I, I do actually call this one the decoy lettuce. It's a cabbage that's now in the fire. Yeah, but if I called it a decoy cabbage, it is a cabbage, so it wouldn't actually be a decoy, would it? But it's a decoy for you, not for itself. Ah, but yeah, but it needs to be a decoy itself as well. Yeah, else the decoy really wouldn't work, even if it was a decoy for me. But the decoy didn't work because you well, <laughs> you're here. You seem convinced about it. Hey, well, can I can I perhaps ask a different question? Be you in charge of this place, of this village? Uh, along with Sheriff Ironbelly, yeah. Be you an elected member? No, Is it hereditary? Don't, don't, don't uh, elect elders. So, oh, Ilmar- so you're, you're, not- you're, you're, you are in charge by Sinter being the eldest? Yeah. I see. The wisest. Indeed. I mean... Isn't that how your society works, Mordek? Yeah, I understand dwarf, dwarves have a similar... Yeah, don't you just get hierarchy. older, longer and greyer, and then that makes you the next person in charge? I... Well, I don't think it's necessarily true. in charge, but I know they respect their old... We do. Bill Morin is probably the most ugliest halfling you've ever seen. He looks like he's been burnt. He hasn't a one single hair on his body. And he's sort of wearing a loincloth. Oh, I remember yeah. now. I had a I had a hankering for prunes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so Mordek liked his prunes. Do you have the list? Oh yes, yes, I do actually. Um would you like me to talk uh, would you like us to go back into character as the cabbage, just in case anybody walks in and disturbs us? Um I'll kind of look fire. over at the fire. <laughs> okay. Um right. So uh I've looked into it, and we need to make something. Um, um, so I've come up with uh, a few things. Now we need to um, we need to find the petals of a filth flower. Um, uh, we need to make something called a moot pass uh, that basically shows you which direction you're going. Yes. So uh, to make that. Um, we need uh, the, the, the petals of a filth flower. We need some water from the wild spring. Um, we need some arrow root, and we need uh, half a conch nut. And also, last, last but not least, pardon. Where did you get this from? What do you mean? Well, where did you get this information? He does rituals. Yes, but 
Do you just make the rituals up or do you read them in a book? Or... No, I used to work with uh, Faust um, and he has put lots of protection on his tower uh, and we need to find a way through the enchanted uh, forest where the tower is. Um, so we need to make this moot pass. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So where was the, sorry, petals of the fill flower, water from where? Uh, the wild spring, so the wild water, and you need half a conch nut and um, some arrowroot. And last but not least, and I suggest you go and get this one first, you need to get a tooth from the beast of the bottomless hole. What is the beast from the bottomless hole? It's a beast that lives down the hole that's bottomless. How does he live in it if it's bottomless? Because he lives on the floor. But then if it's got a floor, it's not bottomless. And it's got a bottom. Some people call it bottom. Okay, where is this bottomless hole? Um, the bottomless hole. Ah, well, I'm glad you asked me that. And he goes and gets one of his textbooks from the shelf at the back and he comes over. Hmm. Um, uh, the bottomless hole is found in the Wailing Woods, which is sort of northeast uh, from here. You know, just uh, it, it's not far, uh, but be careful in the wild. Don't don't leave the path in the wild, wild, wild Wailing Woods. Um, it's like they tell you in any wood: never leave the path. Yeah, I was bad things will happen to you. Isn't that why we have an elf? Don't you like woods, I'll say, looking at Uh Not particularly. I mean, then nice and, you know. Uh, but if you're, 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 I think you're referring to my, you know, our cousins who live in the woods. I mean, we, we like woods, but the... Um... I mean, I'm not really a big fan of woods. Too many beasts and things in there. Mm, well, speaking woods, of but... beasts, Elder, uh, do you know what kind of beast this beast of the bottomless pit is? It's an enormous beast. Even is though it... they've exaggerated the bottomless hole, I'm going to su- assume they've exaggerated the I mean, beast. Are we talking like a troll? Giant? To be fair, I, I've... Uh, a badger? I've never met the beast of the bottomless hole. Right. Can I make some sort of perception roll to see if this guy is lying and or full of shit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> just, this it... seems like an awfully long list of stuff. Would, would to that do, be to get intuition rather than intuition rather than uh, perception? Yeah. Yeah. Intuition. I'm not rolling very well tonight. <laughs> I give it a shot. Is that a skill or a? Yeah, it's, it's a, a skill. skill. Yeah, basic skill. Where is it? So far, we all believe him. Underneath intimidate. Oh, there we go. <laughs> no. He's definitely telling the truth, and he has he has drawn sketches. And he, he explains to you, look, we need to make this brew and then we need to fill half a conch nut with it. And then we need to um, combine the arrow root with the tooth of the beast of the bottomless hole. And that will then float on top of the wild water. And that will point in the general direction of where you've got to go. I mean, have we heard of any of these plants that he's referring to? Fill flowers, conch nuts and arrow root? Um... Make me a survival roll. We've got survival nature. Outdoor survival. Outdoor survival. Make yes. Outdoor survival idea. Oh, I can do that. Nope. Apparently it's not. A flower. Hey, I actually got a plus two success levels. Hooray! <laughs> I love how like all my scores are like in excess of 50 and I cannot roll it. And <laughs> yours are like 30 and you're like, yeah. <laughs> You've definitely heard of conch nuts before, Hagen. Um, who else did made? Uh, is it just Hagen that was it? Just Hagen. Yeah, so you've heard of conch nuts before. You've also heard of arrowroot. 
and you've also heard of filth flowers. Filth flowers um, grow in bogs and swamps. I, my friends, I've heard of all of these ingredients. I mean, we should the only be able thing to that you everything. haven't heard of is the beast of the bottomless hole. Yeah, the plants, I think we should be able to find. The water, I mean, I, we're here. We were, we were told to come and help this man, this halfling out. So I, I think we, we need to take his advice at face value and see about uh, traveling into the Wailing Woods and finding this beast and taking a few of its teeth. Sounds like a plan. Um, uh, these books on the shelf, can I have a look at them? No. Why not? Because they're my books of learning. I'm not going to touch them. I just want to look at spines. Okay. Have they got words on the spines, Jim? No. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Useless. All right. Um, mm, 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 mm. Uh, yeah, no, I, in which case, if you if you can get upset for me touching the books, then... Um... Dan's, Dan's is on all the time. That's no, mine is. No. But what's on? What's on? What? Have I missed something? I oh, know, so it's right. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, for, for, for me, uh, yeah, go, go, and, go and grab the tooth of uh, the beast of the bottomless hole and then, um, you know, I, I, I'll get. Um, Sheriff Ironbelly to send uh, some of the uh, Green Mill Militia with you, if you want. Uh, just one, perhaps, as a guide, if they know where it is. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Well, uh, well let's go find a just... conk nut and a beast in a hole. And some wild spring. Okay. Okay. Why do we need? What will this allow us to do when we get to the tower? It's going it, to allow it, us to bypass it, the wards and get to the tower of the wizard Faust. Well, no. What I sound like we're making at the moment is a compass to get around the wards. Otherwise, we apparently can't find the tower. That the enchantments will keep us from it. Well, let's go find some stuff. How am I, Dick? Well, if we're going to be venturing into the forest, I'm going to go change. Okay. I'm going to go put on my slightly more normal travel gear. Your practical clothing. <laughs> exactly. At which point, Omarin's happy because he's back to being the fanciest person in the group. <laughs> Shockingly enough, Hagen is always in his practical gear, so he's just ready to go. <laughs> Mordek only has the one gear. Yes, we can smell. <laughs> okay, so you get yourselves ready. Is anybody getting anything particular? Weapons, armor, <laughs> food, water, just, you know, standard travel stuff. Hagen saddling his horse, assuming we're going to ride out there. And, you know, very, yeah, basically sort of travel paraphernalia you would have like little I'll probably have little bottles or boxes and things that I can put stuff in okay and I will bring some of my engineering tools because if we have to extract a tooth from this thing it's a lot easier to do it with tools rather than trying to get how you're going to just smash them out probably only get fragments Indeed. Okay, so um, so you're you're met in in the uh, the tavern uh, by a very well dressed militia halfling called Blimp. Um, and he stands there. He's got he's got a a really nice looking sword. And a nice looking shield, and on on the uh, on the, the the front of the shield, the the um, oh, the badge of the shield. 
there is a the drawing of a mill and it's green green mill oh i see what you did there are you to be our guide then yes sir and he salutes uh well met i'll say doffing my hat uh what's your name uh i am blimp blimp uh I am Johan, that's Ilmarin, Hagen, and Mordek. Uh, I do. Uh, do you know where we're going? Uh, I've been told I've got to take you into the Wailing Woods, to the uh, bottomless hole. Uh, yes, exactly, that's perfect. Have you been there before? No. I see. Okay, I know, well, roughly, um... I know roughly where it is. Oh, that's yeah, a good it, start. It, it's, in, it's in part of the Wailing Woods where everything's dead. Oh, lovely. Yeah, no, nothing grows there. Right, well, the sooner that we start, the sooner we finish. Let's, let's get on the road. Okay. Uh, I, I won't be riding. I'll keep up uh, run, at a running pace. Uh, if everything's dead where we're going, is it worth us getting... Is there a priest or something in town? There's the town elder. Mm, okay, I'll take that as a no. All right, well, it could, uh, probably, let's... it could probably send a cabbage with you. I'm sure he could, but uh, let's get going. Okay. So it takes you a couple of hours and you, you travel across. Uh, the Mootland, and but uh, you, you can see this forest getting ever closer. It isn't a massive forest, uh, but uh, you, you, it's quite sizable. Um, and as you get close to it, um, it just seem you just seem to have an odd feeling. Um, Ilmarin, you felt this before, only probably not this before. A feeling like it. What so have you, like? um, uh, Mordek. You start to feel uneasy again and you keep thinking of eyes. Is there any magic? Hmm. Yes. Quite strong magic. And it seems to be all sort of converging in this forest. Can I touch it, a tree and see what it feels like? Okay, it's very rough. Uh, it's a little bit barky. Um, Barking? Oh, God. It's wood? <laughs> but no, it, it, it feels okay. But you, you almost get a sense of worry from the tree. Yeah. Um, concern. Hmm. A sickness lies upon this wood. The trees are concerned. <laughs> a bird like... goes past and spits on his head. No. Um... <laughs> <laughs> See, told you. Mm, there's magic here. I'm sure you can all feel it. I'll take your word for it, Omarin. You're much more sensitive to these things. You start to feel a little bit sick, Ilmarin. But whilst I'm touching the tree, you're just in general being in no, the area? Generally, yeah. You, you, it's as if you're approaching something that's very powerful. Mm, I don't feel comfortable. Hmm. <clears throat> Can I roll magic law to see if I can understand the magic that's here? Yeah, absolutely. Let's, let's, let's have... Ooh, that oh, that rolled really well. Cool. Five, six okay. levels. So you sort of concentrate, you go into a bit of a, a meditation state, and you sort of narrow it down. But as soon as you narrow it down, you think you know what sort of magic it is, it shifts. And Changes, then, perhaps. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you sort of narrow it down again. 
But as you narrow it down again, it shifts again. And it seems to be in this constant flux. And that says all I need to know about the type of magic that's being used here. <laughs> and the fact that there are eyes involved. <laughs> uh, my friends, how do we always end up dealing with the taint of chaos, may I ask? Dan's hand will drop immediately to his gun as you say that. Hey up. What makes you think it'd be chaos? Well, I mean, there's this constant feeling of eyes looking at me when I'm here. I'd be seeing eyes as well. Well, there we in go. In breakfast. What is it, um, Beastman? N- n- well, I mean, Beastman could be involved, but no. If the this... cum comes out. <laughs> No, however, the, the magic seems to be shifting and changing, and there's only one chaos faction, god, call it what you will, that deals with the ever-changing shifts of the magical tides. Okay. So, Elmari, so comment. you start to say the taint of chaos, and then you start explaining yourself, and from out of nowhere, something hits you in the side and knocks you over. And before you know what's happening, you're on the floor and Blimp is on top of you, yeah? Screaming, chaos, get down, sirs! And he's sort of... Bloody hell, he's quick. Yeah. Uh, Blimp, you saved my life. Thank you. Now get off. Uh, You be careful of the chaos, sir, if there's chaos out there. I've not seen chaos in these parts, actually, sir. Not that I'm caught good eye, sir. Uh, okay. Well, we, 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 this is to, to use a human phrase, not our first radio. <laughs> yeah. All work has called us to fight against these forces, which is why we're here. Yeah, wow. but sure, surely you're guys. not taking the I really wish you'd stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's, well, anyway, Blimp. he's probably still hallucinating from last night. Who, who more deck? Didn't say what. Uh, it, it might be. I up. It might be possible. I've been seeing a few eyeballs here and there, and bits sewn together in form of faces. Um, but I'm sure it'd be nothing it, to worry about. Ilmarin it, it, covers blimp's ears because he's too sensitive, clearly, to hear these things. Um, I think we're dealing with the chaos god of Zinch, or at least his followers bit on the floor as soon as you say that. You you do notice that your delicate elven fingers and your delicate elven hand can't really cover up the big hole that is one of his ear holes. And uh, yeah, you, you sort of try and concuss the noise, but uh, yeah. Zinch, you say? <laughs> bit on the floor again. The Stop Lord saying that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, the Lord... Wait, how do you know about the Lord of the Change? The Overlord of Flux. He seems to be a well, very educated guy. At that point, <laughs> Ilmarin draws his sword. <laughs> How do you know so much? Oh, uh, because um, um, uh, uh, Elder Fellow Fringe does a great puppet show about the history of the moot and uh, the, uh, the, the great uh, dangers that we do. My friends, might I suggest that we don't step into this woods, that if there is a halfling doing a puppet show of chaos, that we might no, want to revisit no, no, this situation. But he's just part of his puppet show. He's got many tales, yeah. Okay, yeah. and what are the other tales? Do they involve he, he Slanesh? He speaks of those to the east that we shall not spit on the floor again. Stop it. Um, he, he also speaks of um, the beast of the bottomless hole. Um, he speaks of um, um, lots of things. Um, Any other chaos gods that you're aware of? Dry bone the troll. There's a troll. Okay. Well, I, I would suggest, uh, friends, that we don't step apparently, into the Apparently, dry bone has, has regenerated um, one leg three times. Can we just kill whatever's in this thing and end this taint? I don't know what's causing the taint. I, the... Say, I say we go find out. Oh, I have a dry accent then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, I'm with I'm with Mordek. Let's, no, let's I think go we should this end this. And see well, what the, the beast could be a symptom of 
charismatic or it could be the cause we're not entirely sure we could be walking in and do you not remember what happened last time we walked into somewhere of chaos have we all forgotten we won uh, didn't we family oh we won just barely but we and, won but we won by the way do we all still have our black marks on our hands no they no, we got okay that's fine okay well i mean we haven't got the mark anymore but like do you not remember the mark you uh, were mocked by chaos. I say, I yes, say. We and he sort of backs off a little bit and draws his sword. I say. Sword. They were trying they were trying to kill us, but we killed them. Oh, okay. And then there was then there was the Nurgle guy in the underneath Middenheim. Yeah, Nurgle. the white wolves are gonna deal with that and <laughs> stop Nurgle. saying the names of them. Look, I say, I say, by God, that we just go into these um, their woods and beat the t- snot out of whatever's in there. Because frankly, I could do with a good fight after last night's disaster of drinking, and I need to be pounding some heads together. So, can we jolly well get on with it? Hagen, Hagen claps Mordek on the shoulder and starts going forward. He's like, "Let's go!" <laughs> <laughs> Once again, okay. we walk into chaos. Oh. So, Blimp leads you through the forest, and part of the way you stay on this this path and then it leads you down a sort of side path and the sort of atmosphere sort of changes the it, it, you just feel slightly uncomfortable um i'll be uttering a prayer to sigma under my breath one minute proceed. you know you're you're comfortable riding or moving through the woods you know and it, it's just nice weather and then all of a sudden you're a little bit too cold and you could do with putting a little bit of uh, a couple of layers on and then you're too hot you know you end up taking you know sweating uh, quite a bit as you you move through and you notice that the, the further into the forest you've got is the forest seems to be less alive and you realize that where you are at the moment you can't hear any animals no birds or no, no animal noises or anything. It just seems totally lifeless, as if the land has been drained of its energy. Oh, we must be getting nearer to whatever's causing this. Yeah, Myron's keeping Stum at the moment. <laughs> I'm certainly got more weapons there. Oh, yeah. Gents, 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 gents. Shh, 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 shh. Right, there's clearing up here. Yeah, when we get there, I'll go and have a look. Yeah, I'll go and scare it out, and then I'll come back and let you know. Yeah. I don't think you should be going on your own in the evil forest to look for an evil beast well, that lives in a hole. Wailing forest, the wailing woods isn't uh, evil. It's just... A, a no, the bit. woods aren't, but it's been tainted and therefore... It's not a good place to be on your own. I respect your bravery, Master oh, Halfling. With but... the, the Green Mill Militia, we're scared of nothing. And especially the, the taint of chaos. Us Halflings, yeah, we, we're hardy against the, 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 the taint of chaos. I have heard that. That may be and so. He sort of pulls tight the straps on the back of his shield. Just... Stay and pulls quiet. out his sword. When you get there, just stay quiet and unseen and tell us, don't don't attack oh, whatever's there. It is getting towards dusk, but there's still enough light to see into the, the clearing. And there is this quite large hole in the middle of the, 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 the clearing. And Blimp sort of creeps over to it. And he looks in the hole. And he turns around. And he goes, it's all right. I think it's at... And as he's about to say asleep, this big tongue comes lashing out of the hole, wraps around him, and pulls him screaming into the hole. And you hear some struggling, some blood-curdling screaming, and then it goes quiet. And then you can hear a bit of bone crunching. I told him to not a, go in there alone. A bit of squelching. And then it goes deadly quiet. You're right, Elmarin. I mean, this is probably one of the worst I told you so moments, but I did tell I mean, him not to go over there on his own. We need grenades or firebombs, something. 
Did we get a good enough look at that tongue to identify what kind of creature it could be? It was a massive tongue. So it was a pointy tongue, like a big pointy. red rope. Um, um, mm. Have you ever seen anything like that before? I haven't. I mean, bestiology isn't my speciality, but you know, I've read a few books. Oh, well, uh, what? <laughs> bestiology. Oh right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you were getting a bit Bretonian for a second then. <laughs> um, can I roll outdoor survival to see if I'm aware of what kind of creature it could be? Pretty sure it's not a natural one that we'd, get, we'd know from outdoor survival. Well, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> maybe uh, it wouldn't be door magic, would it? Uh, Might be if it's a demon. I'm thinking it's probably some sort of like. Um, what's the creature with the graspy tongue that grabs things? Anyway, frog, chameleon. Yeah, well, it's like a giant frog, a, a jabberscythe. That's what it's called. Jab, actually, I hope it's not a jabberscythe because I don't think we'd have much chance against something like that. But uh, <laughs> so uh, anyway, yes. Yeah, so can, can I roll anything to see if Ilmarin would know what this potentially would be? You know, given he's an elf and he knows lots of things, and he could make a very difficult roll. Very difficult outdoor survival or law magic. What would you prefer I roll on? Uh, outdoor survival. Very difficult or very hard. I passed. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you, you, the only thing that you can think of that has got a tongue this big is a creature of chaos um, that lurks beneath called um, a jabber slice. <laughs> um so um if i could have your attention the the tongue now this is a guess based on some few few books i read um it could be a, a, a jabber scythe i'm not sure if you've ever heard of these creatures but they're like toad like creatures but they're very big fairly resilient some have wings like they're pretty they've got scaly backs they're they're, they're pretty horrendous um, to put it politely. Could this creature be causing this blight that surrounds us? No, generally they, they're drawn to chaos, but they could they can like damage the lands, I guess, around them, but they're drawn to points of chaos. Um, so maybe the chaos is already here, and now them being here is like made the situation worse. How big are they? Uh, they can get very big. And judging by the size of that tongue, it's pretty big. I mean, can, can your magics draw it out of the hole so we have can fight it on even ground? Um, I, I, I've not done any magic. Um, yeah, I'm still learning little bits. I mean, if we shout and make a lot of noise, will it come out? I mean, hole? I can make my hand glow. <laughs> I can do that for you. Perhaps you weren't far off. Uh, when you were when you spoke earlier, Johan, perhaps we throw a flaming oil mixture down there to see if uh, if that'll pull it out of its hole. I mean, As you have something there, this big shadowy form seems to jump out of the hole. Better it yet, lands, it lands with a squelch on the floor next to the hole. Yeah, gunshots start going off. And you can see Blimp, and he's been impaled on it. It's got two big tusks on the outside and loads of teeth on the inside. And bless him, he's been pierced through each eye, and he's sort of stuck there. Um, the top half of him is anyway. Um, and you can see another bit of foot sticking out, another part of the, the creature's um, um, mouth. And it seems to be flicking its tongue out at the air. I mean, sorry, how far away are we from this, actually, before I start shooting? Well, you're probably about 60 feet away. Oh, quite a distance then. Okay. Okay. Definitely a jab aside. Kind of take a 
step back so Hagen's a pace in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> right, then Mordek, shall we charge? <laughs> charge! <laughs> <laughs> I imagine they charge before Umarin can say Dah! I have more days going because he's like, he'll be the last to get there anyway so if he gets a head start now I'll be making sure that Mordek's still else in else. front of me as we move forward Can you make me an outdoor survival roll please um, Just a standard one now I know what creature it is Yes, yeah, yeah. No Apparently, I, I'm really good at making difficult rolls. Easy rolls. Yeah. As, as it lands on the floor, you hear a lot of breaking things, and there the seems to be a lot of white things on the floor. Uh, white sticks, maybe. Um, is it bones? <laughs> Possibly. Oh, well. I'm not going to be able to stop my night friend from charging all the crazy dwarf from charging so oh, Adam, why does he get called knife friend and i get called crazy dwarf because <laughs> you're a dwarf and you are a bit crazy yeah. and you're a dwarf <laughs> all right fair enough <laughs> you are both about to charge a very large creature how big well, is this thing we get bonus to hit it then because it's a large creature right uh, yeah. i think that's from shooting isn't it oh. i would say it's probably as Big as a single decker bus. CL. They are massive. It's going to be bigger for me because I'm sure, so it'll be easier to hit. You sure it's not just really close? <laughs> oh, I think we've already committed. I, I, th I think we've they've committed, committed to the charge, Jim. So I'm afraid we're all about to die. Oh, I may right, now, never regret spraying for a reason. to die. Salute you. <laughs> Okay, uh, Johan, uh, could you make me an outdoor survival roll, please? So what's the plan? What's the battle tactic, Hagen and Mordek? Kill it. <laughs> um, I was given a re-roll, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it to see, just in case I can try and help. I'm not sure a minus five is going to cut it. Oh, yeah, plus two success levels. Okay. Um. It's definitely bones, and as you sort of peer over, there's all sorts of bones in there. I mean, perhaps. I mean, it's a long shot, but there could be maybe one of its teeth in there, maybe. I would just kind of say to Amarin, one of its teeth could be just there. Yeah, I mean, that is underneath it right now, though, right? So... Yeah, I, I love how you, uh, uh, Johan and Ilmar are debating this as like Hagen and and, <laughs> and Mordek are like, ah! <laughs> it's like that <laughs> scene in Monty Python, Holy Grail, <laughs> and he's running, dun, 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 running along the hill. Hagen and Il, uh, sorry, not Ilmar, and Hagen and Mordek, are you charging? We're, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah, we've committed. We're committed yeah. to it. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, you're sixty feet, hey. so that's a few rounds of movement. We yeah, might, you might want to back off. Slower. Well, 60 feet's not that far. I mean, it's only it's like two or less than 20 points. meters. Yeah, yeah it's like two bone. rounds, isn't it? So. Yeah, two or three yeah, rounds. You could probably close down like nearly that much in a round if you just dashed. <laughs> well, they're going for it. <laughs> yeah. So, just remind me, and for for the uh, the benefit of the viewing public as well. Um, could you tell me what your initiatives are, please? I think I've probably been overtaken now, but I'm 47. Hagen is 46. Uh, mine is 42. So 46, Hagen. 47 is Ilmarin. Is that 42, Johan? Yeah. Yeah. And Mordek? Still 20. <laughs> okay. So Hagen and Mordek look at each other, look at the beast, look back at each other again, and then charge. Cool. And shout, aim for the bush. Do we have any sort of battle cry? 
for Ulrich, for the White Wolf. And then he looks over at Mordek. And and by the way, Hague is keeping pace with Mordek. So he doesn't want to, he's not oh, okay. planning on ah. getting there way earlier. He wants to <laughs> I was about to say, because Mordek might be a bit slow. Um, can, I, can I just add at this point, yeah, uh, again, to our viewing public, the last session, Mordek sort of showed himself what we're drinking was concerned. And now he get, Eigen is holding back on his charge. Yeah, so he gets to hide behind Mordek. <laughs> they reach the big nasty creature, yeah. <laughs> like, so, since, since he yeah. can't get there in one round, yeah. he wants to, you know, he's, he's trying to be tactical about this. Well, all I'm saying is they've changed. Uh, okay. So, if anything more... changed us, changed yeah. us, it was the game. <laughs> um, a charging across, um, uh, the, yeah, the charging across, clearing at the beast. And the beast sort of turns round and sort of don't look shocked, but uh, it's sort of, whoa, it's got yeah. something to look at. Would you describe this thing as monstrously sized or enormous? An enormous. Enormous. Okay, Griffin sized. Well, have fun. <laughs> I hope you're good at dodging. No. Yeah, it's pro to, to be perfectly fair, it's probably the size of a people carrier rather than a bus. Oh, only. <laughs> um, so uh, I will attempt to throw a magic missile at it. Okay. It's I will not be closing, but wind. behind the others. Sorry. But it doesn't seem to be doing anything. The wings seem far too small to lift its big sort of form off the floor. Okay. Yeah. Go for it with your magic missile. I have no idea how this is going to go. Uh, uh, I, it does a thing. Oh, Hooray! it goes off. Yeah. yeah I, I, it's plus cast. Two plus two Six damage. Six damage. And yeah. <laughs> Not really all... I've got you guys covered in fire. <laughs> <laughs> But at least it always takes one wound. Yeah. Okay, so how many uh, wounds are you doing? Uh, it can't, it's, it's only doing six. It's not like anything special. Yeah, it's six damage. Okay. So as you cast your spell, from all around you comes power, and it, so it seems to go through you. And where it should be like a slight boom from you, a big boom comes out of it, and... A bolt twice the size of that what you'd normally cast comes out of your fingertips. Are you trying to overcompensate for something? <laughs> I don't like it. That's chaos <laughs> magic. Colors, its colours shift <laughs> as it goes towards Ooh, the creature. Expecting a worry about unlimited power. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I won't be doing that again. <laughs> it's not supposed to do that. Um, are you implying it does double damage then? Yes. Okay, so it does 12 damage instead, but I'm... Yeah. Do that again. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. Does it mean that it automatically does two wounds? Uh, no, but it's... Oh, I'm hoping sure. it hasn't got enough soak to soak 12 damage. It seems to burn it. Uh, or damage it. Okay. So... You get to act again before the the um, it sort of gets itself ready, readies itself. Um, oh, so odds will have Hagen, evens will have Mordek. That's fair. That's more deck. <laughs> at least okay. it's only at least it's only two steps larger than us, so it only does double damage. Okay. Well, Ooh. if there was Ooh. any way to go, it was fighting a giant monster. And yeah, frankly, that's yeah, awesome. You've got to remember who's rolling for the creature. Yeah. <laughs> so the big bad creature of legend, yeah. That is the Jabba Slyth, flings out its tongue uh, and gets a 96. <laughs> yeah. And this tongue goes sailing over your head. Yeah. And then whips back again. Is it expecting okay. someone taller? Ilmari. Ah. Exactly. 
Yeah, uh, no, it would be. Oh, are we? Are we? I mean, we were yeah. running that whole round. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. 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 In which case, I'm too afraid to fire magic at it again. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fire my bow because I'm worried that there's, it's scary. Uh, you'll um, get a plus forty to hit it because it's mass, because it's enormous. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. That's that's good. And did do I get advantage from hitting it with my magic spell? Yeah, you did damage to it. So yes. Okay. Cool. 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 Got some damage. We've got some advantage then. And we're gonna shoot an elf bow, and hopefully we'll keep the advantage, its advantage down, giving you guys at least a small chance. Oh, precise Eight, damage. Nice. Ooh. very nice. Wow. Nice. Nice. Eighteen damage. <laughs> oh, Elmara, Elmara's a beast. <laughs> I've brought something big to the party, and yet again, yeah. Right, okay. So, um, can Rod shoot? I, I'm not sure how far I am from it. I'm behind you two, so I don't know how far we are yet. Well, if we ran, we might be close yeah. enough now. Yeah. So, yeah, so for around, you right? Hagen, Hagen, you reach it. Okay, so I charge up and swing hammers out. Okay. Don't forget we got rerolls. Um, We're gonna need them. Some of you do. <laughs> I don't. I used it to try no, win the drinking mine. competition. <laughs> so, <laughs> so me and Hagen have rerolls. <laughs> so I get close to it. You notice that there's this musky sort of spores and scent comes from it. Mm. Okay. So is this a Nurgle thing? Or... No, it's, it's native to the Jabba slice. So can it. everybody? Roll at minus 20 now, please. Oh, to hit? Okay. Do we get uh, a resist? Is, is that regardless of no. range? Um, it has the range of... Uh... Ah, so you get this... Uh, you, you can get this only once, so you're next. Um To all tests. A target can only suffer this penalty once. Ah, ah, no, no, no. So it is on this creature. Um, creature, uh, it's in a crossbow mass. Um, yards equal to its toughness bonus. So that's 50 yards. No, toughness bonus, so five yards. Ah, five yards. Unless it's toughness 500, which would be <laughs> terrifying. Okay, I've got all that excited there. So basically... It'll be us. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is, it, minus... is it a magical effect? No, no, it's, like no, it's, it's basically like a stinkiness of it. Yeah, like it's a stink cloud. Uh, soporific uh, musk. Yeah, oh, it okay. smells a nauseating reek. Do I get a re- do I get a resistance because I share a room with Ilmar? No, <laughs> no, because you're the one that smells. <laughs> okay, no, but it's all the perfume and stuff. So Hagen. Oh, you so guys. Hagen rolls up uh, charging, so he's got the one advantage. Uh, it's plus 10 because of the size difference, but minus 20 takes it down to a minus yep. 10. Oh, <gasps> Hagen missed. I am going to use my re-roll. Uh, hang on. Don't you want to see how it rolls first? Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, well, but, I mean, we'll it's go, a pretty bad we'll roll. For a, uh, we'll go for a bestial bite. Oh, no, we won't. We'll go for... I think the beast you'll bite is a bite. Well, you still managed to hear it. Yeah, okay. you still hit right. it. So, uh, <laughs> go, Jim. 23 damage. 23 points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> and since I, since I did hit him... I will uh, use my advantage to invoke my furious assault and strike again. Okay. Go on, my son. But before you strike again, mm-hmm. uh, could you please? T- 
take six points of damage from the blood hitting you. Does he get armor and toughness or anything? So you get your toughness bonus and armor points to a minimum of one. Okay, so it takes one point. Ah, so you lose your advantage. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay how, much, how much damage did you do again? 23? 23. 23. Oh, now he's going to slap you again. No, no he's not. Oh, because he, 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 uh, he lost the advantage. Because he lost the acid. Oh. Fortunately, next round, I can just use my move action to get the second attack. But Okay. Um, Johan. Uh, okay. Well, seeing as I'm close enough, I'm going to start. So anyway, I start blasting. <laughs> That's a uh, hit. Nineteen damage to the head. Okay. And it ignores non-metal armor. Take a point of damage again. Do I get um, am I? He's not hit. Yeah, because he's I, shooting. I'm not in distance. melee. Yeah, no, you're not you, but Hagen. Oh, that's me. <laughs> well, you know, acid is splitting out all over the place, you know. When Mordek gets in, it's going to be uh, Mordek getting uh, hit by as well. This is yeah, true. Just, just remember my shots to ignore non metal armor, Jim. Yeah. I'm going to. Yeah. So, so how much damage did you do? Sorry, 19. 19. Yeah, okay. Uh... This okay. thing's going to be dead before I get there. It certainly could be. Uh, Mordek. Right, okay, so... I'm going to go to... Combat. Bearded Axe. Oh, come on. Vantage, modifier. Uh, I'm charging. I'm dual wielding. Um, is that what minus what? Sorry, minus twenty. Yeah, um, but also plus ten for charging. So it's plus ten for charging. So minus, minus 10. ten. But I've got an advantage. No, that is, your plus ten for charging yeah. is an advantage, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a net minus ten. Yeah. Okay, so it's a mi- just a minus ten. Hmm, interesting. Let's see if this works. Hmm. So much what he gets. I might re-roll that. I don't know. Wait, no, to see wait, what wait. He gets. See what Jim rolls first. Because if you still hit, you still hit. And a 37 on the reverse on your second weapon would be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you hit. Cool. I'm going to re-roll that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jim does have a re-roll. Why, who would do that? <laughs> non anomaly. I'm a anomaly. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, now you might want to re-roll then. Yeah, so now I'm going to use my re-roll given to me by a nice player. Uh, <laughs> a nice player? A, a, nice, a, a, nice, a nice viewer. Nice viewer sorry. Richard, thanks, Richard. Thanks, Richard. <laughs> Uh, Come on, Mordek, I hit it. You can definitely hit it. <laughs> so I've got to put my minus 10. Uh, go. Ah, balls. No, still missed. No, so you miss. Okay. Can I use a fortune to re roll? If, if you'd like to. Does that oh, go back on. up? Sorry, I've just no- remembered. Dan actually gets a plus 20. So he's at plus 10 overall because uh, with how you can he outnumbers it. Okay, so... So did I... So was... Would that'd, the that'd first... be... Or wouldn't it? So your first one would have been net zero. The next one is plus one. So oh, actually... I'll stick... oh, yeah, I'll stick with the reroll then and have the plus one. Okay. So that's two hits at strength... So that'd be 10 damage, I think, if I'm working it out right in my head. 10 damage each. Because it'd be plus two more success levels. Yeah, no, it'd be eight, 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 and and then, eight and a 10, wouldn't it? Eight and a 10. Mm-hmm. Eight and a 10. And I get my advantage. 
Okay, both you and Hagen. Um, lose your advantage. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, you're about to immediately lose it. Uh, well. Sure, we have acid blood. Oh, 10 points. Minus strength and toughness. Okay. Oh, armor and, tough. and armor as well. Yep. Yeah, armor and toughness. It's oh. okay. No so, I mean, uh, two, probably, two get probably, through. It's probably like one for you, I'd imagine. It is one for me. Okay. It'd be a lot and... more if I was in there. Same. <laughs> and now okay. it gets to hit you. <laughs> odds, odds, it's more deck. In fact, who's doing my. No, no, we'll roll. Uh, roll. 1d6. Odds, more deck evens Hagen. Oh, Hagen. Even it's oh, I'm five. Not sure about that. Or tries to, anyway. You know, it's not. Can I? Um, <gasps> Sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ooh. Okay. Uh, so that's one. Uh, doesn't Hagen ignore. Is it odd or even numbered from Impenetrable? Uh, it's odd. Oh, so yeah, he doesn't get the crit. All right, but it is a plus three still. It's a plus three, and, and you have no you advantage. Get, if you parry, you get massive penalties. Minus two SL when you pa- when you parry, but I'm going to parry anyway because my weapon skill is so much higher than my. Uh... Aren't you also at minus? Is he is he a minus twenty for this as well, Jim, or is it just hitting? Yeah, minus twenty to all roads. So essentially, you're minus four now, aren't you? Minus forty. Is that how it works? Yeah, I'll take the hit. Okay. So that's uh, 11 points of damage, eight, so three points of damage. Okay, could you oh, also on. gain... Right, isn't that doubled? Because it's big. Because it's huge. Oh, yeah, six points, so, okay. And also gain the poison condition, please. That hurts. But no, doesn't it become 24? Is that not how the doubling works? Uh, sorry. It's double. No, not 24. It'd be 22 because of the plus one. Yep. Okay, so it is a challenging poison. So at the end of each round, so you can make... Uh, you can make one at the end of your next round. Okay. Uh, Just right. taking twenty. Is is Hagen still stand up? Taking twenty points, twenty two points of damage. Well, it's uh, minus minus the eight. Yeah, yeah. I've got twenty four yeah. wounds to start. Ah, with. right. Wow. <laughs> He's a tough boy. <laughs> yeah. Can you also make an endurance test for me, please, Hagen? I can. Twenty four is ten more than me. I failed. Four. Yeah, I will use points. my I will use my re-roll. I have not used my oh. re-roll yet. I will use that for my endurance check. Better. Uh, Plus four uh, success yeah. levels. Does yeah, that yeah. poison's been removed. No, 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 no. I was to see if it was a festering wound. Ah. God. <laughs> okay. well, that was pretty horrifying. Yeah, that was that made me that made me sad on the inside. We'll be all right. And on the outside. <laughs> and on Thank the outside. God for plate mail. Okay. Yeah. What would the critical have been? Gaping so arm wound. It's got advantage now, hasn't it? It Plus does. One, yeah. It does. Okay. For right. So it sweeps its tail towards um, Mordek. So it's Ooh, no longer got attacks. advantage. Oof. All right, Mordek, you've got to parry. At minus 20. Is it minus 20 or is it just minus 2 SL? Uh, Pair is minus, minus 2 20. minus two SL and minus 20 for the stench. So it's minus 40 essentially in total. Or you could dodge at just minus 20. That's what <laughs> I should have. I can't and, dodge. Okay. Well, I mean, you always pass on a 0 to, uh, sorry, on a 1 to 5. It's off agility, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I have agility at 18. Yeah, yeah that's but... not going to work for you. With minus... an armor minus. <laughs> Minus 40 with your axe is probably better. <laughs> so okay. Combat. Uh, sorry, minus 40, was it? Yeah, minus 40. Oh, Jesus. Futile, it says on this table. <laughs> when you click on it, that's a bit disheartening, isn't it? <laughs> I've lost my advantage as well, so let me take a minute. Yep. Of that. 
Hold on, let me go out and just get rid of it there. There we go. Bearded axe. I still calculate my advantage, was that? There we go. Bit of axe again, Jesus. Futile. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I think I'll be using a reroll. I think you might want to, yes. Because you'd gonna... be taking extra damage from that, wouldn't you? Yeah, he would be adding. Yeah, that would be insane. So I'm going to use... Can I use a fortune point? Yep. Okay. You believe in you, Mordek? We do. God, that was awful. Be the hero we need. I need a hero. I'm holding out for a hero for the end of the night. It's still still a fire, but it's got that better. (laughs) You only add one to it, so it's comes 14 damage. 14 damage, which then you get to so- do your soak on. What about the double for size and all that, Milan? No, no, no that's that, that, is, that is with the 14. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. In fact, that's very doable. Um, cool. it, okay, with that again, it swings its claw at Hagen. Oh, crap. <laughs> Shit. 14. All right. I will, uh, I'll try to dodge this. Hey. Yes. That'll do could it. You, sorry, Mordek, could you please take uh, a um, poisoned uh, um, condition, please? We'll get a roll. At the end of your turn. At, at the, the beginning of, of your turn. turn. Or the end of your oh. turn. One yeah. hitting endurance. Okay. So back to the top. Hi. I'm going to shoot okay. him. Go for it. I'll remove all his advantage because he's being mean to my friends. He hasn't got no advantage anyway because he can advantage. I just went all of a sudden. Oh, he spent it to get extra attack. Yeah. Yes. Boom! Oh, my son. <laughs> wow. Oh! <laughs> oh bleeding. Hand. Imarid is on fire! Oh, nice, nice, nice. Take nice. a so, minus 20 endurance so, as, as he swings his claw towards Hagen and is drawing back from swinging at him, he launches an arrow right into the palm of the hat, a claw. He just explodes and bursts. <laughs> Some, somehow the arrow just becomes explosive. Okay. And you lose your hand. Amputation. <laughs> Gain two bleeding conditions. Take it. Oh. And five control. additional wounds. Yeah, so how much how much damage did you do? 18 plus 5 is 23. I love my okay. new Okay. Um, so um, imagine rather than amputating it because it's an arrow, it probably just went like through some tendons and ligaments, which just like yeah. Yeah. Uh, he made it. He made it. Still, ridiculous amount of damage. And you blew his claw off. Yeah, that take that. Happen. Um, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Look at Hagen, I think. Um, each take three points of oh, um, one wound, and it's automatically one. Yeah, yeah. always one. Death by a thousand cuts. <laughs> yep. What does the bleeding condition do? Does that mean he starts losing wounds? He takes two wounds every turn until it's yeah. until he receives medical treatment. That's right. He'll also I'm be dying. Sh- I'm not death. sure how many Jabba slides. Would it be a vet for a Jabba slide? <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be a chaos uh, a beastman bray shaman. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a vet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Hagen. Hagen swings Hammerzite around. Starting to actually be a little concerned about his life choices. <laughs> I will, uh, well, go ahead and roll first and we'll see how you do. But yeah, I'll spend a fortune point 
uh, to re-roll that. That's Hello. better. Okay, so I, I got the hit there. So 17 points of damage. Okay, so both you and Mordek take a further four points of damage. Okay. And I will, use my, cuts. I will use my move action to enact Furious Assault since I hit him, and I will swing Well, hold on a second. Hold on okay. a second. You bury your hammer into the side of its head, and it sort of rears up and sort of starts spasming, and it falls back into the hole. And you're Hagen, at full. <laughs> Hagen looks over the side of the hole, really dejected, really hurt, puts hammers right down on the ground, goes down to his knees, and you think perhaps is weeping a little bit. <laughs> He's like, that, that wasn't fun. That was not a good time, Mordek. What well, well, <laughs> gives him a friendly slap on the back. So can you both make me a... Um, oh, endurance. Is it endurance? Uh, yeah. Yes. A challenging endurance roll each. Uh, you take one point of damage and roll, so... Right, I will uh, use a fortune point to re-roll that. Hagen, you have made some really shitty rolls tonight. No, no that's not like cannot, cannot catch a break. All right, uh, that's six, success for me. Okay, so both take. I still take one wound. Yeah, and you, you think you've got the oh, one hundred and twenty? Uh, that's not right. There you go. Mordek sort of slashes it, it is his wound where it, it went in, and he, he, he sucks it out and spits it to the floor. Uh, I'm going to spit it very... over the edge in the pit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. Hagen sort of does a, a, a little bit more sort of uh, civilized. Yeah, <laughs> gets Dr. Pimple good, Pepper. And, uh, um, he, he is not feeling good. <laughs> uh, was it dead when it fell back into the hole? It was not looking very good. Have we got to go down there and get his teeth? Let's let's search up here for one first. Have you got any oil? Oh yeah, well, you're gonna cover yourself up in that so you can. <laughs> it doesn't hit you when you go down there. Yeah, I think you're, you're gonna cover yourself in heat before more, you go down the it's hole. It's more <laughs> down the hole and then setting fire to it. <laughs> or are you gonna oil more deck up so you'll fit down the hole? <laughs> I mean, that would be funny. Yeah. <laughs> Playing sled dwarf. Woo. <laughs> no, I, I imagine we've. Move. We'll yeah, want to make like sure pour oil down the hole. Pour oil down the hole and then set fire to it. <laughs> then drop a torch down there. Make sure it's dead. Confirm the kill. Okay. You pour some oil down there. And yeah, it's it's lying lifeless on the floor. It's not moving. Well, this is all this is going on. Hagen has pulled out his his healing uh, his his healing kit and starts to stitch up his wounds and put salves on his burn. I'm going to attempt a heal check, which is a uh, not a great skill for me. So we shall see. Give it a minute. Johan can have a looky. Am I? If I resisted that poison, am I now still got the poison effect? No, no. You've got rid of it. Actually, Ilmarin, should we have a look, see if there's a tooth up here? Because I don't really want to go down there. Yeah. Well, oh, it's now on fire, so. Okay, right, with... hey, good. You, you, you try no, and... still, he well, still get... in intelligence bonus minus yeah. one. Yeah, you, you, you've managed to That's sort of free. stabilize yourself. Um, um, but yeah, you, 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 you sort of knock uh, Hammer's eye over and it sort of hits you on the wound, which sort of hurts <laughs> a little bit, bruises a little bit more. As the shaft hits you on the arm. Yeah. So yeah, I only heal. I only managed to heal up ten wound, or three wounds, but I'm I'm back to ten out of twenty four now. So he's feeling yeah, a still not better. that much less than me. <laughs> uh, I'll do a perception roll to see if we can find a tooth up here. Yeah, same. No, I won't. <laughs> I'll use a fortune point to re-roll that one. I think. Make a difficult roll, please. Uh, uh, difficult. That's minus. What 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 minus is that? Is it? 
30, 20, 30? Uh, difficult is minus 10. There you go. Okay, so that would be 42, so I'd get I'm one success level. Give it a go. <laughs> no, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> uh, you have looked round. There's lots of teeth here, but there's no jabber slice teeth, you don't think. Well, great. <coughs> we'll wait oh. for the fire to die down. Someone's got to go down there. Hey, yeah, go someone's got to go down there. Yeah. Looks at Elmara. <laughs> I thought you like. I thought your people liked going down holes. I'll say, looking yes. at Mordek. <laughs> Man, after the night I just had, there's a hole and there's a hole, my lad. In your uh, bucket. Is Mordek looking hurt? Uh, yeah, I'm looking hurt. Do you want me to have a look at that? Yeah, go on. In. Hey, Mordek, Mordek, did you see my two arrows? Those shots were amazing, Elmar. And things claw just exploded. I've never seen it the like. No, neither have I. I'm not even sure how an arrow managed to do that. Uh, I'm going to forge him. <laughs> just, just when you thought Elmarin's head <laughs> Hagen, um, Hagen. Well, I don't actually hurt you because my intelligence bonus is high enough, but I don't heal you either. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you successfully <laughs> diagnosed that I'm wounded. Um, yeah, As Joanne's sort of having a look at the wound and he sort of gets a bandage and sizes it up next to one of the wounds. He, he, oh, you're about to put it on. Oh, I think there's a bit of tooth stuck in it and you stick your finger in and know it's actually a bit of his bone on the inside. <laughs> yeah, so you've prodded round and it hurts. Pre- up, if I do that, I'll pretend to throw something away. So I go, oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a bit yeah. of tooth. <laughs> well, Mordek, Mordek is in a bit of pain by that. Does hurt quite a lot. That, that that's bringing back too many memories for me right now, please. <laughs> um, so Imaran looks over the edge. Obviously, we've set fire to it. Um, so we're just kind of wait now, haven't we, until the fire the, goes the, out? The floor is on fire. The actual creature isn't. You're guessing that it is a big bag of snot. Um, so it didn't last on fire very long. Whereas the 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 oil on the floor, it's sort of um. um Oh, that yeah, should die down good. relatively quickly. Yeah. Okay. And just hang out till the fire goes out and then... Uh... Uh, when you go down there, Mordek, cut its head off. Why am I going down there? I'll go. You're a dwarf. Hey, you you go. like going it's underground. A, it's, I'll go down. That's not underground. It's, That's a it's, hole in the look, ground. Look, there's a I, I have a feeling that Mordek's athletics is not that great. It's <laughs> look, I'll go down because clearly the dwarf is too afraid you to go underground. Oh, that's uh, yeah, yeah, I did I've, I've got a, I've got a hundred yards of rope. Okay, so yeah, it is literally a hole in the floor. So there's nothing to climb down. You'd have to like sort of get a rope and sort of climb down. Well, then Ilmarin is probably the lightest person to lower down. So <laughs> Ilmarin will go down in the cave and um, chop, chop its head off while you're down there. I can't. I am. I'm not going to be able to chop that thing's head off with an arrow. You've got <laughs> a sword, don't you? Well, yeah, I have a sword, but I'm not going to look at the size of that thing. At least like hack its neck or something. We don't want to. We don't want that thing getting back up. Okay. All right. Well, I'll. I'll Hagen, my... all, Hagen hands uh, Elmar on his uh, wood axe. He's like, "There, you can chop its head off with the wood axe." That's so unrefined. <laughs> yeah, but do you want that thing getting back up? True. 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 Right. All right. Can, can we just get in and get this tooth? Okay. So, oh, Ilmarin. I'll also hand Elmar in a set of pliers. Okay. You you get lowered down. Um, make me a. How are you going down? Are you just tying yourself around it, or are you sort of going to hold on? Or... Yeah, yeah, put we'll the old. Put the, no, I'm going to put the loop in the bottom and put my foot in the loop, you know, and then just like be lowered down. So I've got Rose one the Caribbean hand. style. Yeah. Make, make me make me an easy dexterity roll. An easy dex roll. Uh, wouldn't it be agility rather than yeah, yeah agility? Say... Yeah, agility. Agility or athletics. Oh, athletics, if you've got it, yeah. 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 Cool. Okay, you get lowered down. So, um, As I'm part of the way down, because I've scored so well, can I do a little flourish and then, like, land, use the force of the landing to push my sword into its chest? Yeah, okay, so you land on it. And as you land on it, it sort of rears up and it sort of turns and it sort of bits you around the midriff. And it's squeezing, and you can feel its teeth ripping through you. 
Yeah. Um, so everybody that is holding the rope uh, or lowering him down is looking. You can see Ilmarin writhing round on the back of the creature now, squealing and um, kicking his legs um, and making a gurgling sound like he's you know, probably been bitten off or something. Hagen, uh, just, magical Hagen. effect. Ilmarin, what's going on? Well, Hagen yells to just hold the rope and then Hagen just tr- goes down okay, you, as fast you be- as he can. You can hear your friend shouting to see if you're all right, but it, 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 you've never felt pain like it. Have, did we see the thing bite him? No. Is there anything I can do to resist this, the effect of whatever this is, or am I just uh, am I just assuming I'm dying right now? Make me make me. Um... Oh, oh, oh. Make me a, a, a magical law. Yeah. Or arcane. Yeah, I can do magic law. Yeah, magic law. I get three success levels. Di- oh, okay. Yeah. So you snap yourself round and you realise that, but for at least sort of three minutes, uh, you you were being bitten in half by it. It was probably the most terrifying thing that's ever happened to you. Um, and you felt you, yourself be ripped apart as it, it sort of, but yeah, you, you're back in the land of the living again. And it's like lying there dead. And your legs are still part of you. Okay, I may go. I may go a little bit batshit crazy with that axe that Hagen gave me, and remove the creature's head, even if it takes me all day. I, I remove that creature's head. Okay. Um, I don't say anything to anyone above, above me. They just see me. Um, <laughs> get bring the head back up. And then yeah, I tie the rope off onto like some of the tusks, so it's like there. And I okay. like haul us up. Okay, so you Hagen. put it back. Yeah, yeah. We we tie the we tie the other end of the rope off on Hagen's horse and that, have the horse help pull him up. Okay, so you you pull him back up and you get um um you uh, uh, you pull him out and he gets back to the uh, the surface again. Does the uh, uh, mouth still have bits of the halfling inside it? Oh yes. Well, we'll take that back. You know, his family should bury what's oh. left of him. Yeah, wrap what's left of him in a in a his cloak. Told him not to go in alone, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Elmarin, you did tell him. Poor blimp. Can't believe you turned the death for halfling into a I told you so moment. <laughs> it's a typical Elmarin move. <laughs> he was warned. <laughs> he was said, warned. Don't go in there on your own. And he thought he was brave and big, and you know, he went in and he got dead. It's unfortunate, but it happened. Yeah, um, I just thought we should probably take the head back with us to prove what we've done. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, also all the teeth were in the head. So, you know, that's. Uh, yeah, I can be I handy to, have to some remove spare. one of those, kind of held my hand back out for my pliers. Okay. <laughs> But we'll worry about that. We're not surrounded by okay. this. So you get the horses packed up and the the the, the, the head put onto the, the cart. And we shall leave it there. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching tonight. Um, is everybody available next week? I'm aware. Okay, I'm away. Absolutely. Week. Okay, so next away, week Nick? and then yeah, I'm away okay. the week, week of the 17th. Uh, I'm on the holly bobs. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll see you all next week um, for s- episode four. Um, let's see if Jim can throw something even bigger at the party that they threw <laughs> straight through. Um, I don't know, that, hurt, that hit pretty hard. That did, that did hurt, actually. So yeah, so that, that was a bit of a challenge, um, apart from Ilmarin's silly, silly shots. Um, <laughs> But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, what have we got on for the rest of the week on Girl Black? Have we tomorrow got Cyberpunk tomorrow? Or is it no, Cyberpunk? tomorrow night's the last Cyberpunk one um, of uh, Night City Highs. Um, and fingers crossed we'll be ending in a bit of a chase through the Night City streets. Cool. And have we got something American tomorrow, time? Yeah. 
tomorrow night, uh, Garb Like North America at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, they will be playing some Savage Pathfinder using the Savage Worlds Adventure Edition rules. Uh, since uh, it's my wife's birthday tomorrow, I will not be in either of those games because I don't want to add another divorce to my ticket. Um, so, uh, but they, they will be enjoying some of the Savage Worlds, and I believe Matt is going to be running a pirate-themed one-shot for them, so that should be a lot of fun. And on Friday, is there anything happening apart from Dan's OnlyFans Friday? It's a Monster of the Week, I believe, on Friday. Excellent. Um yeah, so please join us on the Discord. You always get a good chat on there and uh, lots of people talking about uh, general role-playing stuff and board games and battle games and things. Can't um, recommend it enough. Great people, great conversation. And uh, look for... Oh, what have we got on next week? Monday, Tuesday, anything else? Uh, no? Tuesday, I believe, is Alien. Alien. Oof. Out of oh, darkness. Yeah. Monday, so I don't think anything. So there's lots yep. of positive space travel going on on Tuesday then. Indeed, indeed. Yeah? Okay. Yep, definitely cool. safe. Yeah. Um, yeah, very, very, very Star Trek style, Star Wars sort of positive lightsabers, yeah. Mm -hmm. And next, next Wednesday is back with us again. Poor you. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching. Um, thank you for watching the players uh, destroy a creature of legend tonight uh, as uh, Mordek and uh, Hagen act as a shield for Elmarin's bullshit arrows. And um, <laughs> yes, we'll look forward to seeing you next week. So thank you very much for watching. Always a pleasure. Thank you, people. Night. Night.